What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Gerald from Beck of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Thursday, October the 12th, 2023. Today, uh, we're going to talk about a platform that I do personally believe has just exited the stage left. Uh, we're going to be removing our links, um, and uh, we've seen enough so far uh, to make that decision to say, hey, this is probably out. Um, it's a it's a little bit of a hit, but um, hey, it is what it is. We got to keep on rolling. That's, that's the only option that we've got here at BLJ. And that's what we intend to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Before we get started, though, I want to remind all of you that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor, all right? I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I'm cranking out that crypto in many different platforms. Nothing more and nothing less than that. Now, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, just make sure you hit the notification bell as well. Please, sir, please, ma'am, don't get scammed by the WhatsApp, man, because if he gets you, there's nothing I can do to help you, all right? Stay diligent and vigilant in this space and in the comment section as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and share with you guys what the uh, website looks like now. This is what it looks like at Vogix. Um, it is a 502 bad gateway code. Um, you know, we've seen this many times in the space. Um, it, it was a significant, uh, I will say, L uh, on the BOJ side because of the amount of capital that we had. Um, but one thing about this space is um, you learn lessons from stuff like this and you learn uh, how to stay diversified and what that means really for you. Um, what being diversified really means is having some, uh, your well, I don't want to even call it insurance, but having some buffers, right? So with Vogix, I've had, you know, ETF pool and, uh, you know, SCF is working for a little or. Is it SCF? Yes, yeah, FCF. It was working for a little bit. Um, we've had uh, a global aid club. We've had, um, you know, oh, maybe I can, maybe I can still, uh, 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 what's it called? Um, uh, it's skipping my head right now. One on one money maker. Uh, we've had Quopi. How can I forget about Quopi? Like, uh, so we've been diversified in this space, and um, stuff like this is tough because when things are new, right? You anticipate, you you hope you get like at least a month, maybe, um, but you never really know. You never really know. All right, uh, that's just the space that this is. Uh, so you have to manage your risk. You never want to put in any more than you are willing to lose, and that is what I'm grateful for. My risk management strategy has still not failed me yet because I've never put in more than I was willing to lose. Even if I lost it, even if there was a learning, le you know, even if I lost it, there was still a learning lesson. So I didn't lose anything. And that's just mindset. That's just mindset and what my mind state is about this space, just knowing um, what's out here and what has happened and what will probably continue to happen. Um, you got to learn how to play the game. So um, Vogix was one that was even getting some attention from people um, that are only looking for legitimate type platforms and uh, uh, no indictment on the people that are out here looking for these platforms because that's what we that's what we do. Uh, we're looking for better opportunities. We're not going to stop looking for uh, better opportunities. And we believe that Vogix was one of those opportunities that could have been, um, you know, something that, you know, was an asset to the community. However for an asset to our own personal journeys, wherever it is that you stand in the, in the community. Um, but uh, this is indeed another lesson in the space that uh, you can't really trust it. You got to just move like water and you got to have a risk management strategy to play the game here. Um, this is indeed uh, the wild, wild west in every sense of the word, even past just uh, your traditional dealings with crypto. All right. You don't know the developers. Most times you don't know, uh, the owners, most times the owners aren't even real most times. And to be honest with you, it is a, it's a gamble. It's a risk. Um, it's one that we should all understand at this point, if we're going to play the game. All right. Uh, I think that was reflected in the amount of uh, capital that people used in these type of platforms. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's what I would consider, um, you know, good risk management strategies going on all over the space. I think people are learning. I think people are starting to understand that, um, hey, these opportunities may not be as passive as you may have thought as well. Um, you may have to start sharing your journey in this space and, um, you know, start sharing these opportunities with like-minded people. There are opportunities out there that last long enough to be passive winners. Let's not get that confused. Um, that has definitely happened, um, but a lot plays into that. A lot of it is timing. A lot of it is 
um, positioning. A lot of it is, you know, the legitimacy of what the owners and developers are trying to do. Um, and and who really knows? This is this space is the wild wild west. I cannot say it enough. Um, so as we uh, say goodbye to Vogix, you know, there are still many opportunities out here for us to take advantage of, and um, we have to be diligent and, um, you know, really figure this space out. Uh, and and we're committed to doing that here at BLJ for sure. Every step of the way, uh, we'll figure it out and uh, we'll continue to bring what we believe are at least good looking opportunities. Um, you know, we may have to do a little different in our vetting process. Uh, we'll learn from some of the people that have been in the space for a long time, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter uh, what you do to vet. You know, we've seen platforms go away and people have flown out to their countries and met the people and sat down with them and, and, you know, broke bread and met their families and did all this stuff. And the people will still go off and, you know, shown passports, you know, all this different stuff. They've done the most to prove legitimacy to a person that is seeking it and still, and still will go and close a platform prematurely or come up with excuses of why they can't pay or this or that and third, or, you know, and I believe everyone uh, understands that risk or should at this point, especially what we've gone through in our journey, right? So anyway, this is Vogix. I, I got a little, a little into an outside rant there, but uh, we're going to say goodbye to Vogix. Uh, we're taking the links down uh, for any future videos. Um, and, and you know, hey, we thought it was going to be a decent run. I think we only got one withdrawal out of it. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm glad we're diversified and uh, put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets. Crypto is indeed the wild, wild west, y'all. If you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. Ask me how I know. It's not very fun at all. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. Please, sir, please, ma'am, don't get scammed by the WhatsApp, man, because if he gets you, there's nothing I can do to help you, all right? Stay diligent and vigilant in the space and in the comment section as well. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.